China is set to lift lockdown measures on Wuhan in just over two weeks. The capital of Hubei province is where the coronavirus outbreak began. Travel curbs outside Wuhan will be lifted tomorrow. And it's been two months since Wuhan was in lockdown. On 23rd of January, all movements into and out of the city, including public transport. Now, private vehicles were banned from city streets. Schools, offices and factories closed. The lockdown also extended beyond public spaces to include private movement of locals. Residential areas were closely monitored with checkpoints at building entrances. Security guards kept people from entering and leaving. Enforcers were also deployed to ensure citizens complied with the lockdown, while volunteers went door to door checking residents' temperatures. Now, Olivia Song joins us now to explain how the measures will be lifted. Olivia, uh, these measures that were taken in place during the lockdown, how will they be sort of lifted? Well, I think it's useful to note that there has been a gradual relaxation of the restrictions as we've seen the number of new confirmed cases in Wuhan as well as Hubei come down drastically over the last few weeks. And so this time round, with the relaxation or the lifting of the travel for residents, uh, that is a, a gradual step that has been built up too. And moving forward, there will be precautions taken as well. One very big example is how residents in Wuhan and Hubei will have to be healthy before they are allowed to travel out of the city or out of the province. Likewise, anyone traveling into Wuhan or into Hubei will have to be healthy. Now, you may be asking, how is this going to be proven? Well, anyone who wants to travel out will have to have a health code that determines their health status. And this is a QR code that is uh, issued by the provincial government. And so this will take into account a person's travel history, as well as the people that they have come into contact with over the last 14 days. And so to be deemed healthy, you must not have come into contact with a confirmed case or a suspected case in the last two weeks. Uh, another precaution that is being taken even as and this travel restriction is being listed that schools in the whole of Hu province will remain closed for now. And we have been leading up to this day, uh, just a few, over a week ago, we saw local officials allow some businesses to resume work. And here we also are seeing some car factories resume work as well. We do know that Wuhan makes up about 10 percent of the production of vehicles in China. And so that's a very key industry. Um, although there may be some jitters, uh, just as of yesterday, it was reported that uh, the first new case has been reported in five days in Wuhan. And this individual, this patient is a doctor in one of the hospitals in the city. And officials are saying that they cannot rule out that the doctor had caught the virus from working in the hospital. Now, according to another report by Tsai Sing, uh, Chinese media, uh, there are also concerns about silent carriers or in other words, those that are not showing any symptoms because we do know that asymptomatic cases are not counted in China's confirmed cases statistics. So there are some concerns about that, although officials and uh, experts are saying that those who are asymptomatic are very unlikely or have a lesser chance of spreading the virus to others around them. Olivia, so how is the public reacting to the easing of these restrictions then? Well, if we were just to look on Chinese social media side, Weibo, we see that many netizens are saying that finally this day has come. It's been two months since Wuhan has been under lockdown, and so this is a long-awaited move. But on the other hand, there are also those who say that China cannot let its guard down. But what does this mean for residents? Well, we do know that Wuhan is a city of 11 million people, Hubei has 58 million residents, and we do know that many migrant workers have been stuck in the city or in the province, unable to make their way back to their cities where they work. And that has meant that many of them have gone without income for this two-month period, and that is of concern. We do know that China is trying to get businesses back to work, to get its economy back on track. We've seen key indicators based on official data uh, fall drastically in the first two months of this year. We are talking 
about retail sales and fixed asset investment. Uh, but China, besides trying to get its economy back on track, is also grappling with a spike in the number of imported cases into the country. We know that many Chinese who have lived overseas or studied overseas are returning to China because they feel that China is now a safer place after the country has managed to bring the outbreak within its borders under control. And so, but on the other hand, we are now seeing a, a spike in the number of imported cases. And so we have seen authorities step up measures in that regard. They say that they have three lines of defense. The first is at the borders, and that is where any incoming travelers will have to undergo health checks and they'll have to make a health declaration. The second line of defense is that all will have to undergo a 14-day mandatory quarantine. And if you're coming into Beijing, that quarantine will have to be done in a designated centralized facility. The third line of defense is that uh, China is telling people that, you know, if you have symptoms, to go and get treatment. And it says that its medical staff and workers have the experience and they are on the lookout of this. And it's because they have the experience from the first wave of infections that will allow them to address these imported cases as well. But officials are also saying that it has so far managed to catch imported cases within its first two lines of defense at the border and with among the people doing their 14 days quarantine. So uh, I think we can see that even though there's some sort of normalcy returning to Wuhan and Hubei, the epicenter of this outbreak, that China is not letting its guard down by any means. All right, thanks for that update. Olivia Xiong is speaking to us. Once again, China to lift its lockdown in Hubei province tomorrow, but for Wuhan, easing of curbs will happen on the 8th of April.